that wasn't too hard. Things people come up with. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt. Tie him up. There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right. Let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? A shooting star am I. For a moment, flickering, granting hope. Holding fearful humanity briefly by the throat, before suddenly vanishing. Hold on. About it. Someday, this poetry will be the end of me. Long time no see, Shulski. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Enough of this. It's not funny. And it's not scary. The fucking Shulskis. Always looking down your noses. It's because of you my pop died the way he did. And it's because of you I ended up on the street. Well, fuck, Victor. We pulled the trigger together. There'd be nothing to talk about if you had a nicked Pop's pistol. So how come Pop and I were the ones to pay the price, huh? I remember it a little differently. Oh, now that makes me curious. Does it just so happen that in your version, you're innocent? No, I'm not. And you're not either. But it's my father's fault most of all. What a convenient answer. He's not going to defend himself now, is he? I don't have any intention of changing your mind. We were dumb kids. I can't change the past. Yeah. Full of foreboding, he desired to push away his memories. Yeah, dude? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shifts. I'll take a look around.
You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? A beak? I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. <laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here. Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up, yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit. I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. 
It seems to me there's a salutor here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as the Demon's Den. Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. Well, well. How did you get your hands on all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. What's stopping you? You had me tied up in the chair. Well, I sure did. Maybe the thought even crossed my mind. But I decided to give you a chance. Witness the kindness within my heart. Tell me, what else is going on? I've had a look around, and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Saluta. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. I'm at your service. 
You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. He fell in love. One day he packed his bag and uh, ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Uh, but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it, I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well then I'll ask you, is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead, I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too. The smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss. Thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke in Kaman. You'll see the true face of Abauritsi Niedzic. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guess wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word, to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tender. All right, let's drink, shall we? 
A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars, and as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs, and when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor, but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family, my shivs. You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> Don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld? Or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me. Even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. We were supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently if only... We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's deaths would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? A gun is reliable and evocative. I thought a thaumaturge kid wouldn't make as big an impression as a kid with a pistol. And all in all, you were right. It's just a shame we used the gun. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? I see it like this. You've always had some seed of madness inside you, but I don't think you've ever been so fucked up. Beg pardon? I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I slice my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. 
it'll hurt less. I know now that you're not the one Lelik is following. You see? Even the devil can't touch me. He's come knocking a few times, but we've never managed to strike a deal. And you'd surely be the perfect candidate for him, but only seemingly. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad, how that we tickles me. Come on, of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. Wah, do you give up, you piece of shit? Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus, looking down its nose, arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. This way, about it. It is a little stuck up. Well, that's true. If you look close enough at it, it could be enough to piss you off. That's what I said. You sure showed that lamppost what brave squaddies you are. It's leaning now, so you taught it a lesson. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you vandalizing city property? Papers, please. I think you must have a screw loose, gents. <laughs> Different rules apply in the bar district. No need to show your ID, Nijit. We've already got a cell waiting for you. Well, I don't think so. Go ahead, Victor. Yeah. 
Well, well. You sure gave that the Cossack treatment. And what? You guys were so worn out from fighting a lamppost that you didn't help? It was fun to watch. Nijits and the magician in action? He's a fine sight. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The Lock, Stock and Barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> the night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Nyejits. I'm just doing my job. You see? That's respect. This is what they call a private party? What is this, awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, make that too. How to make the most of being so popular. Oh, nice true. Come sit with us. Did I hear you talking about Danis? Danis and babes. He talks a lot, makes a big fuss around himself, but when push comes to shove, he leaves them hanging. So then babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You seem thick as thieves. Have you known each other long? Since we were kids. We're all from the Don Host Oblast. Under Danis, we've traveled far and wide with the Russians. Danis is your commander? Da, Ataman. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Eh. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? 
Let's see what you're after, wizard. Who'd have thought that Danis was such a sensitive soul? Does he play the balalaika a lot? Lately, he's been singing either about the Grim Reaper and Hellfire, or rolling in the hay. You can't keep up with him. He goes too heavy on the tearjerkers, for my taste. Any more questions? I've heard Danis likes playing Russian roulette. He's such a bonehead. He never thinks about the trouble he'll get himself into. You'd better watch your head when he's around. Danis had a fiancé, but she dumped him. How come? You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. But it hurt him. That's what I think. Maybe she got sick of waiting. She had her pick of men in the village. And is that what made Danis so devil-may-care? A broken heart? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Who is Pasha? Our buddy, from the same village as us, out past the Don River. We went through a lot together. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? We all stick close together, but when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. One time, Danis and Pasha got tanked and started playing Russian roulette for it. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph, more like love and concern. He really looks after it. You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis' fiance dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. The fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. You'd love to find a buddy like that, someone for better and for worse. Calm down, I can see your faithful friends. I'd better go take a drag of Warsaw air. If you like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. It seems like Pasha was more to him than just a comrade and close friend. His death hit Danis like a train. Since then, his life's been nothing but irrational behavior and risk-taking. He's thumbing his nose at death. I think I'll accept the challenge. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? 
You eavesdropping magician? I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. Lock, stock and barrel? Or the London bar? The Demon's Den! You taking a fucking survey? Are you spying for Nijits? Sheer curiosity. I work for nobody. I'm the one in charge of... Devils, I know, I know. Get out of here, I can't stand the sight of you. You sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah! We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap! What? You shit in your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. Uh, we were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're lying, Nijits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. <laughs> Is that lovely song for me? <laughs> Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening.
Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you.
bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. I have to. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Dennis, we are your brothers forever, till the day we die! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones, as if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis' fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. I really don't have the energy anymore. Respect that. I didn't kidnap you just to let you go that easily. No, sir. There's no better medicine than Aqua Vita. Let's go drink. Pour! To us, to you, to vodka! <laughs> Show her your demon, Victor. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. Hey! Well, hello, sleeping beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Nyejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... 
Schmeit, Schmeit. It was spectacular. And we both know it. We'd better get away from here. If Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. At your service, sister. You know that for me, our family's good name always comes last. I'll pretend that those words are a product of your present indisposition. Ligia, sweetheart, don't listen to this idiot. It's the booze talking, not him. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? Five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a lady. Water whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor? With each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. This is a bit awkward, but... Well, spit it out. A full sentence, please. My beloved sister, could you please, on my behalf, give some money to Abauritze? Here. From now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. I need to see Rasputin. Mr. Shitsky. Is Rasputin here? Sadly, yes. It's good to see you. Unless I'm mistaken and you've come with something unpleasant. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you've brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. <laughs> so 
So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right.
I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first, you'll see! Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. That kid, it's me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizia was there too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose me? What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor Hurry will be late for mass. I'm coming, mother. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want a husband. You don't have to get one, but I'm worse off. Grazinka says that when I grow up, she'll find me a husband. Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church, because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stone as he passed us with the censer. That was the first time when I felt another person's thoughts, their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't falter to share them with the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me, and my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents married not long after. What do you want to tell me? You'll put me in an early grave. Duh. 
Because it's always the woman's fault when a man starts getting certain notions. Father, can Abaurezi come with us to the sea? Out of the question. Holidays are to be spent with family, with loved ones, not with servants. Listen, boy. You'll be the head of this family someday, and you have to understand that family is the one thing you can always rely on. Especially since you're a Tempermancer. Others will rob you, kill you, or even worse, ruin you. You should keep your friends close, but never behind your back. And your enemies you should keep even closer, next to your heart. Because only then will they not surprise you. Rarely did I see my father so furious. He thought that a trip to the once Polish Baltic Sea would improve his chilly relations with mother. I really didn't want to go. I preferred to play with Abaurice in the streets of Praga. Mom wasn't disappointed that we stayed either. I didn't want to step on father's toes again, so I asked Ligia to make a scene, like she did when Grazenka tried sending her to bed and she wanted to keep reading. I didn't even have to persuade her much. I wondered if it was the power of the twin bond or if I manipulated her subconsciously back then. Now I know I couldn't do it without forming our pact. But if that's the case, what were you doing here? Morano. Hello. Let's see what brought you here. I felt something. Where is it? Please, step back. This is a crime scene. I can see that. Am I wrong? Or does the deceased have no eyes? Yeah, no eyes, all right. And why would there be? He's the fisherman's sixth victim. 
Hey, Rogulski. Cut the chit-chat. And you, three steps back. Go on! Is the fisherman some local criminal? Get out of here while I'm still asking nicely. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Move a little to the left, will you? You are blocking my view. What are you doing here? Drawing an illustration for a newspaper? For myself, as a local artist. I'm Cayetan. Do you specialize in still lives? Yes. You might say that. Here in Povishle, nothing interesting's ever happened. But there you go. Murders with an artistic twist. Very inspiring material. Povishle doesn't seem like a pleasant place to live. Is life itself pleasant? I don't think so. Even those mutilated bodies, they have no eyes. As if the murderer tried to say there's nothing to see here. So you're saying that nothing matters? Exactly. Once misfortune brought me to this river, I wanted to end my life. But the river wouldn't have me and threw me back on the bank. I decided to stay around. What exactly do you paint? Dead bodies. Someone might say the dead deserve respect. I'm saying that both life and death are meaningless. You are blocking my view. I'll go now. Any fish biting? It doesn't matter, what do you want? My name is Victor. I only wanted to ask what was going on here. With those damn police? They are trying to catch the fisherman. And the fisherman is doing his bit. Is it bad that they're doing the job? And what for? Did anybody call them? Anybody complain? What, do you think murder doesn't bother anyone? Like there are never any murders in Povishle. Big deal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. We'll do fine. We don't need the police here. Who's the fisherman? The one who left the body on the beach. Stark naked, with pebbles in place of eyes, and a hook stuck in the roof of the mouth. Like a fish. That's what he always does. The police call him a serial killer. A dozen people he snuffed out like that already. The son of a gun. You sound like it doesn't bother you too much. And what should it bother me for? If he kills, he kills. We are not to judge if that's good or bad. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Yep. And they can't catch the fisherman even though he continues to kill. Is that right? He's smart, shrewd, not like those police fools. And everyone knows who he is. How so? Because. You see that guy on the beach who set up his easels in the sand and is painting? He's the fisherman. He paints all those bodies. He's always around the new ones. They even raided that hovel of his. 
Right, Edek? Yep. And yet, he is still at large and keeps painting. So maybe he's not the fisherman after all. Sure he is. Everyone says it's him. He's a weirdo, living like a hermit in that hovel. Nothing holds any value for him. So maybe he takes people's lives just for the hell of it. Yep. And where is that hovel? Go along the river and behind the workshop. Am I right, Eric? Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy fishing. Yeah, right. Nice rocks. They smell like downtown. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? You'd better not get in my way when I'm working. And what does a whelp like your double head? Maybe he's the murderer. The young master was bored and came to Povishta for a taste of gore. He'll taste it all right. His own.
Hey, you can't be here. Uh, Kayetan doesn't allow it. I don't like you, Sunny. He's got nice shoes, though. I wish I didn't buy them at all. Well, I don't like that kind of resignation. But I still like your shoes. <sighs>
Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. Can I ask you a question? Whatever. Aren't you afraid you might be arrested? You're always the first one out of the body. You paint it. To me, you look like a murderer. Me? Why? The bodies appear on their own. Besides, let the police worry about that. If they catch the murderer, there will be no more dead bodies to... pose. Right. I hadn't thought about that. I think painting those bodies has become something very important to you. I hadn't thought about it that way. It seems it has given your life a new... meaning. Do you... really think so? I... don't understand! It seems that while contemplating the lack of sense in life, you did find something you care about. Right. But that doesn't make sense. Why is it that, in trying to go with the flow, I end up paddling harder? Where did I go wrong? Beautiful. I wonder if you developed it when you tried to kill yourself, or if you had it before. It is your doubt, your resignation, your nihilism. It's time to free you from it. Can you hear me? Take a step back from him. What? What are you doing? They're arresting me, that's what. What are you arresting him for? Having strange interests? Have you got any proof? We are arresting the prime suspect. Do not obstruct us. Tell them what you told me. You are not the killer. What difference does it make? Pielevin, you know he's not the one. What can I do? This case is taking too long anyway. How are you going to sleep after this? I'm going to buzz it up till I fall asleep. Preferably in moonshine. And now it starts to rain. Touch it. Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you! What do you want here? What, what is that you're playing with? It's a hook from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dolts! This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did! Get lost! Unless... We trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? And what would you like for the hook? Ah, uh, a cannon. A saber! Well, you heard him. If you bring us a cannon or a saber, we'll give you the dead man's hook. That should be doable. 
There were some old blonde sabers in father's office. Go away now. You're boring. Salut. Salut. Have you heard this fancy pants? You have the makings of a good detective. I could use the help of someone as smart as you in my investigation. I... I'd like to help. That's commendable of you. Then the first step would be to give me back the hook. Don't give it back. Don't be a sucker. Shut it! I want to help the police with their investigation. Got it? If you got a problem with that, you can fuck right off. Here. So what now? Now I'll examine the hook and keep looking for other clues. Piatrix a lick spittle for the coppers. Shut your mouths! Or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right, enough of this. Let's leave this place. Mm -hmm. 